The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Chapter 2 Tom and Huck. Chapter 2 Tom and Huck. The next day was Sunday. The next day was Sunday. Tom wore his clean Sunday clothes. He hated this. Tom wore his clean Sunday clothes. He hated this. Tom, Sid, and Mary always went to Sunday school on Sunday morning. Tom, Sid, and Mary always went to Sunday school on Sunday morning. But Tom was not a good student. But Tom was not a good student. And never listened to the teacher. And never listen to the teacher. After Sunday school, Tom and his family went to church. After Sunday school, Tom and his family went to church. This Sunday, he had a big black beetle in his pocket. This Sunday, he had a big black beetle in his pocket. When the Reverend started speaking, Tom took the black beetle out of his pocket. When the Reverend started speaking, Tom took the black beetle out of his pocket. He put it on the floor. He put it on the floor. There was a little dog in the church. There was a little dog in the church. It saw the beetle and wanted to play with it. It saw the beetle and wanted to play with it. Suddenly the beetle bit the dog's nose. Suddenly the beetle bit the dog's nose. The little dog barked and everyone looked at it. The little dog barked and everyone looked at it. It jumped and ran after the black beetle. It jumped and ran after the black beetle. It ran all about the church, barking and making a lot of noise. It ran all about the church, barking and making a lot of noise. The people in the church laughed silently. The people in the church laughed silently. Their faces were red. Their faces were red. The Reverend continued talking, but no one listened to him. The Reverend continued talking, but no one listened to him. Tom was happy because he had an interesting morning in church. Tom was happy because he had an interesting morning in church. On Monday morning, Tom did not want to get up. On Monday morning, Tom did not want to get up. Get up immediately, Tom, and get ready for school. And Polly cried. Get up immediately, Tom, and get ready for school. And Polly cried.
On his way to school, Tom met his friend Huckleberry Finn. On his way to school, Tom met his friend Huckleberry Finn. Huck's father drank whiskey all the time and did not work. Huck's father drank whiskey all the time and did not work. Huck had no mother and no home. Huck had no mother and no home. He lived in the streets and did not go to school. He lived in the streets and did not go to school. His clothes were old and dirty. His clothes were old and dirty. He went fishing and swimming when he wanted. Huck was happy. He went fishing and swimming when he wanted. Huck was happy. All the mothers of the village hated him because he was lazy and used bad language. All the mothers of the village hated him because he was lazy and used bad language. All the children of the town liked him very much. They admired him. All the children of the town liked him very much. They admired him. Hello, Huckleberry. What's that? Hello, Huckleberry. What's that? It's a dead cat, said Huck. It's a dead cat, said Huck. What will we do with it? asked Tom. What will we do with it? asked Tom. I want to take it to the graveyard after midnight, Huck said. I want to take it to the graveyard after midnight, Huck said. A dead cat can call ghosts out of their graves. A dead cat can call ghosts out of their graves. Really? asked Tom. Really? asked Tom. Well, old Mrs. Hopkins told me. Well, old Mrs. Hopkins told me. She's a witch, and she knows about these things, said Huck. She's a witch, and she knows about these things, said Huck. Can I come with you? asked Tom. Can I come with you? asked Tom. Of course. Or are you afraid of ghosts? asked Huck. Of course. Or are you afraid of ghosts? asked Huck. Afraid of ghosts? Of course not, said Tom. Afraid of ghosts? Of course not, said Tom. Come and call me at my window at eleven o'clock tonight. Come and call me at my window at eleven o'clock tonight. Tom was late for school. Tom was late for school. The teacher was angry and said, The teacher was angry and said, Thomas Sawyer, why are you late again? Thomas Sawyer, why are you late again? Suddenly, Tom saw a new girl in the classroom. Suddenly, Tom saw a new girl in the classroom.
She had blue eyes and long blonde hair. She was very beautiful. She had blue eyes and long blonde hair. She was very beautiful. Tom looked at her. He was in love. Tom looked at her. He was in love. There was a free chair next to her. There was a free chair next to her. And Tom wanted to sit there. But how? And Tom wanted to sit there. But how? Tom thought quickly and said, Tom thought quickly and said, I stopped to talk to Huckleberry Finn. I stopped to talk to Huckleberry Finn. The teacher was very angry. The teacher was very angry. You know you must never talk to that boy. You know you must never talk to that boy. The teacher took his stick and hit Tom. The teacher took his stick and hit Tom. Now go and sit with the girls, said the teacher. Now go and sit with the girls, said the teacher. The children laughed at Tom. The children laughed at Tom. He sat down next to the new girl. He sat down next to the new girl. He looked at her. He looked at her. Then he drew a picture of a house. Then he drew a picture of a house. Let me see it, she whispered. Let me see it, she whispered. Tom put the picture in front of her. Tom put the picture in front of her. It's nice. Draw, man, she said. It's nice. Draw, man, she said. Tom drew a man near the house. Tom drew a man near the house. It was a terrible picture, but the girl liked it. It was a terrible picture, but the girl liked it. You draw beautifully. I can't draw, said the girl. You draw beautifully. I can't draw, said the girl. I can teach you after school, said Tom. I can teach you after school, said Tom. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Tom asked. What's your name? Tom asked. Becky Thatcher, I know your name. It's Tom Sawyer. Becky Thatcher, I know your name. It's Tom Sawyer. That night, Tom and Sid were in bed at half past nine. That night, Tom and Sid were in bed at half past nine. Sid was soon asleep, but Tom was not. Sid was soon asleep, but Tom was not. At eleven o'clock, He heard Huck meow. Meow. At eleven o'clock, he heard Huck meow. Meow. He dressed quickly and went out of the bedroom window. He dressed quickly and went out of the bedroom window.
Let's go! Whispered Huck. He had his dead cat. Let's go! Whispered Huck. He had his dead cat. Tom and Huck walk down the dark road. Tom and Huck walk down the dark road. They walked for about half an hour. They walked for about half an hour. The graveyard was on a hill. The graveyard was on a hill. There were a lot of trees. And a lot of graves. There were a lot of trees and a lot of graves. Everything was dark and scary. Everything was dark and scary. The wind made strange noises, and dark clouds covered the moon. The wind made strange noises, and dark clouds covered the moon. Are the ghosts making these noises? Thought Tom. Are the ghosts making these noises? Thought Tom. He was afraid, but he said nothing. He was afraid, but he said nothing. Now let's find the grave of Hoss William," said Huck. Now let's find the grave of Hoss William," said Huck. They soon found the grave. They soon found the grave. Here it is. He died last week," said Huck. Here it is. He died last week," said Huck. Do you think Hoss Williams can hear us?" asked Tom. "Do you think Hoss Williams can hear us?" asked Tom. Well, I think his ghost can hear us," said Huck. Well, I think his ghost can hear us," said Huck. Then let's call him Mr. William," said Tom. Then let's call him Mr. William," said Tom. All right," said Huck. But everybody called him Hoss. All right," said Huck. But everybody called him Hoss. Shh. What is it, Tom? Asked Huck. Shh. What is it, Tom? Asked Huck. Do you hear the noise? Look over there, Huck. Oh no," said Tom. Do you hear the noise? Look over there, Huck. Oh no," said Tom. Chapter Two: Tom and Huck. The next day was Sunday. Tom wore his clean Sunday clothes. He hated this. Tom, Sid, and Mary always went to Sunday school on Sunday morning, but Tom was not a good student and never listened to the teacher. After Sunday school, Tom and his family went to church. This Sunday, he had a big black beetle in his pocket. When the Reverend started speaking, Tom took the black beetle out of his pocket. He put it on the floor. There was a little dog in the church. It saw the beetle and wanted to play with it. Suddenly, the beetle bit the dog's nose. The little dog barked, and everyone looked at it. It jumped and ran after the black beetle. It ran all about the church, barking and making a lot of noise. The people in the church laughed silently. Their faces were red. The reverend continued talking, but no one listened to him. Tom was happy because he had an interesting morning in church. On Monday morning. Tom did not want to get up. Get up immediately, Tom, and get ready for school. And Polly cried. 
On his way to school, Tom met his friend Huckleberry Finn. Huck's father drank whiskey all the time and did not work. Huck had no mother and no home. He lived in the streets and did not go to school. His clothes were old and dirty. He went fishing and swimming when he wanted. Huck was happy. All the mothers of the village hated him because he was lazy and used bad language. All the children of the town liked him very much. They admired him. Hello, Huckleberry. What's that? It's a dead cat, said Huck. What will we do with it? asked Tom. I want to take it to the graveyard after midnight, Huck said. A dead cat can call ghosts out of their graves. Really? asked Tom. Well, old Mrs. Hopkins told me. She's a witch, and she knows about these things, said Huck. Can I come with you? asked Tom. Of course. Or are you afraid of ghosts? asked Huck. Afraid of ghosts? Of course not, said Tom. Come and call me at my window at eleven o'clock tonight. Tom was late for school. The teacher was angry and said, Thomas Sawyer, why are you late again? Suddenly, Tom saw a new girl in the classroom. She had blue eyes and long blonde hair. She was very beautiful. Tom looked at her. He was in love. There was a free chair next to her, and Tom wanted to sit there. But how? Tom thought quickly and said, I stopped to talk to Huckleberry Finn. The teacher was very angry. You know you must never talk to that boy. The teacher took his stick and hit Tom. Now go and sit with the girls, said the teacher. The children laughed at Tom. He sat down next to the new girl. He looked at her. Then he drew a picture of a house. Let me see it, she whispered. Tom put the picture in front of her. It's nice. Draw a man, she said. Tom drew a man near the house. It was a terrible picture, but the girl liked it. You draw beautifully. I can't draw, said the girl. I can teach you after school, said Tom. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Tom asked. Becky Thatcher, I know your name. It's Tom Sawyer. That night, Tom and Sid were in bed at half past nine. Sid was soon asleep, but Tom was not. At eleven o'clock, he heard Huck meow. Meow! He dressed quickly and went out of the bedroom window. Let's go! whispered Huck. He had his dead cat. Tom and Huck walked down the dark road. They walked for about half an hour. The graveyard was on a hill. There were a lot of trees. And a lot of graves. Everything was dark and scary. The wind made strange noises, and dark clouds covered the moon. Are the ghosts making these noises? thought Tom. He was afraid, but he said nothing. Now let's find the grave of Hoss Williams, said Huck. They soon found the grave. Here it is. He died last week, said Huck. Do you think Hoss Williams can hear us? asked Tom. Well, I think his ghost can hear us, said Huck. Then let's call him Mr. Williams, said Tom. All right, said Huck. But everybody called him Hoss. Shh, what is it, Tom? asked Huck. Do you hear the noise? Look over there, Huck. Oh no, said Tom.